If we are guided by the well-being of American citizens, then I believe Republicans and Democrats can work together. The time for trivial fights is behind us. Tonight, a presidential speech like we haven't seen yet. President Trump delivering a message of unity while staying on point and on message. Hello and welcome. I'm Veronica Dela Cruz. The speech was directed to both his base supporters and to Democrats who vehemently oppose him. Tonight, the reaction is one of mostly surprise. Night Beats Andrea Borba joins us now from the newsroom with this unusual address. Andrea? Well, Veronica, the president admitted he's been a mediocre messenger leading up to tonight, and this was a chance for him to clarify his agenda and get lawmakers on board. Forty days into his term, President Donald Trump's message to a joint session of Congress was that of political unity. This line about child care was the only one that received a standing ovation from some Democrats. My administration wants to work with members of both parties to make child care accessible and affordable to help ensure new parents that they have paid family leave. The mood was strikingly different, however, when the subject of the Affordable Care Act came up in Mr. Trump's prepared remarks. Tonight, I am also calling on this Congress to repeal and replace Obamacare. With reforms that expand choice, increase access, lower costs, and at the same time provide better health care. Peninsula Representative Jackie Spear gave the line a thumbs down, and that was caught on camera. Education is the civil rights issue of our time. The speech also seemed to point to a new direction for the Department of Education. I am calling upon members of both parties to pass an education bill that funds school choice for disadvantaged youth including millions of African-American and Latino children. The president also fell out of step with National Security Advisor Lieutenant General H.R. McMaster over this phrase. We are also taking strong measures to protect our nation from radical Islamic terrorism. Now, Politico reports McMaster tried to get the phrase radical Islamic terrorism struck from the final draft of President Trump's speech, but was overruled. The president, famous for going off script during the campaign, stuck to the teleprompter tonight, ad living fewer than 10 times. On the Night Beat, I'm Andrea Borba. The president also spent a good portion of his speech talking about immigration. He suggested that both Republicans and Democrats could come to an agreement on the issue. While a new immigration order has yet to come out tonight, we have word that Iraq will be removed from the list of countries affected by his travel ban. One of the most emotional parts of the night, a tribute to U.S. Navy SEAL Ryan Owens, who died during a raid in Yemen last month. Ryan's legacy is etched into eternity. Thank you. Thank you. There was a long standing ovation for his widow, Karen Owens. She wiped away tears as everyone applauded for her for more than two minutes. Republicans praised the president while some Democrats say he lacked details. Regardless, this toned down, more moderate approach is a new sign of Trump. Our coverage continues now with Nine Beats political reporter Melissa Kane. Melissa, what did you make of this speech? Well, Mr. Trump is getting rave reviews from some Republicans tonight. At this past weekend's state Republican convention in Sacramento, I kept hearing people say they wish he would be more presidential. Stop tweeting so much, stop fighting so much. Seems like tonight they got their wish. He talked about the renewal of the American spirit and dreaming big for the future. And he stayed away from personal attacks. And you know what? He didn't say fake news even once. For a lot of people, this is exactly what they've been waiting for. And former Kentucky Governor Steve Bashir led the Democratic response. What was his reaction to the president's speech? Well, yeah, he didn't actually talk directly about what the president said. Honestly, this rebuttal could have been taped before the president's speech even happened. Generally, the former governor said Obamacare works in Kentucky and that the people are, who are benefiting are real. He actually said they're not aliens from some distant planet. And he said that there should not be one injury away from bankruptcy. He also said that the president must keep his campaign promise to be a champion for working families. All in all, not a rousing speech, more of a low-key appeal to people on the fence about Mr. Trump. Veronica, back to you. All right, Melissa, thank you.